So here's another question where they start with if. So that's typically a triangle question. 20 degrees, that's the angle they're using. Well, we know 20 degrees is definitely in the first quadrant, so we can go put our little 20. And they're telling us that the sin of 20 is k. Now remember, we can think of k as k over 1. And then from Sokotoa, we know that sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is k. The hypotenuse is 1. If you had to go and do Pythagoras, you should get 1 minus k squared over here. Remember, do not, um, don't think that 1 minus k squared is the same as 1 minus k. I've seen people do that quite a lot. It's not right. Now that the triangle is complete, we can start with A. So A says cos of 110. So remember, any angle above 90 needs to be reduced. So it needs to be written as either 180 minus, 180 plus, or 360 minus. 110 would fit over here. How do I know that? Because this is 0 degrees, this is 90, this is 180, this is 270, and this is 360. So all angles between 0 and 90 go here. 90 and 180 go here, 180 up to 270 go there, and 270 up to 360 go there. 110 is therefore in this quadrant, so we will rewrite it as 180 minus, but we're not going to say 180 minus 110, we're going to say 70 over here, because 180 minus 70 is 110. Then we know that this just becomes cos 70, but because cos is negative in that quadrant, because this is the cost diagram, and only sin is positive in that quadrant, we will say negative cos 70. Now, what are we going to do? Because 70 is not that, obviously, and 70 is also not double 20, like we saw in the previous lesson. But, and here's another little catch, if you had to work out the angles in this triangle, you would see that this is 70. Aha. So, cos 70, well, we know from Sokotoa that cos is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is k over 1. So, the answer for that one, so the answer for a, is going to be equal to k over 1. But remember that there is a negative over there, so the answer is negative k over 1, or you can just say negative k. Moving on to b, that's the sin of 140. So, we don't even look at our triangle for now. What we do is we just go and we rewrite 140 as either 180 minus, 180 plus, or 360 minus. So that's going to be 180 minus. Now 180 minus what gives you that? Or it's 180 minus 40. And we know that that just becomes sin 40. And it's positive because that's the positive quadrant for sin over here. So sin 40, now this is easy because in grade 11 we would be stuck right now, but grade 12 we know that if this is double that, then it's okay. Because we know that there is an identity that goes sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a. So if we take 40 and we rewrite it as 2 times by 20, then that's the same as 2 sin 20 times cos 20. See how the 20 goes there and there, just like the a goes there and there. So the answer is going to be 2, which is that one, times by the sin of 20. Well, the sin of 20 is just k, and the cos of 20, well, that we'll get from the diagram as the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's just going to be the square root of 1 minus k squared. And you can't simplify this any further, so the final answer is 2k square root 1 minus k squared.